what the heck Australia's doing, locking down when you've had like a handful of people die, I have no idea what. Like for my money, it is nothing worse than the flu. It's very, I, I will be coming there one day. Uh, that's a direct threat. The federal government is facing questions over how a far-right provocateur gained entry to Australia at a time when overseas arrivals are at an all-time low. Thank you very much for having me on. And I Katie Hopkins is a British commentator known primarily for her extreme views on Islam and refugees. And I have been banned from South Africa for spreading racial hatred. In 2017, she called for a final solution after a bombing in Manchester by an Islamic extremist and has compared migrants to cockroaches. In June 2020, Twitter permanently banned her for breaching the company's hateful conduct policy. She's made quite inflammatory comments about various segments of society. She has strong views, uh, generally uh, on the right of um, political opinion, perhaps the far right, some might say. Good morning, if you're with me here in Sydney, Australia. Now, before you ask how have I managed to get here, you will know that I have always called lockdown the greatest hoax in human history. As millions of Australians have been plunged back into lockdown, Hopkins scorned the government's response in a series of updates from quarantine in Sydney, ahead of an expected appearance she was due to make on a Channel 7 reality show, Big Brother. She uh, threatened on her Instagram page that uh, next time someone knocked on the door, she would open the door almost immediately or as quickly as she could. She would do so in the nude, wearing no masks or anything. And uh, in, in some way, this was supposed to demonstrate how much of a hoax um, COVID is. But her online antics have been poorly received. If they want to flout our laws, then you pack your bongo and get out of the country. Yesterday, Channel 7 announced it had cancelled her contract. Home Affairs Minister Karen Andrews later sought a review of her visa conditions and today it was cancelled. The ABF, the Australian Border Force, acted very quickly to make sure that uh, the visa on which she entered uh, was cancelled. Uh, we will be getting her um, out of the country as soon as we can possibly uh, arrange that. I think the way the character provisions have been applied in this case just seems quite extraordinary. For a foreign national to enter Australia right now, a Department of Home Affairs official must approve an entry visa. The character decision, the visa decision, is 100% uh, rests with uh, the Commonwealth Government and in particular Minister Andrews' department. Permission must also be sought from the Australian Border Force Commissioner or his officers for an exemption of the COVID-19 travel ban. The Commissioner's guidelines state that people in the entertainment industry may enter where there's benefit to Australia and where the state government supported it. Apparently, uh, Australian Border Force came to the conclusion that Ms Hopkins does have these critical skills that were needed for the Australian economy and in particular for Big Brother. How they came to that conclusion, I don't know. I would have thought we had more than enough people with those the skills Ms Hopkins provides. I mean, actually, it happens reasonably regularly that uh, state governments approach the federal government on the basis that uh, there is an economic benefit to some people coming in over the quarantine caps. On Monday, the New South Wales government revealed it had backed Katie Hopkins' application to enter the country. If it can be done in a safe way, then it would generally get approval if it's got a, a big positive for our economy and for jobs. And to think that she could actually put our teams in our health quarantine, our staff, to put them at risk and to put our broader community at risk is just completely abhorrent and I hope she's on the first plane back. Katie Hopkins was taken to the airport today and New South Wales police said she'd been fined $1,000 for failing to wear a mask in hotel quarantine. It's really bizarre. I, I can't understand how a, a celebrity like that for, for some TV show or something can get a, a really quick travel exemption Mick Gaynor and his long-term partner Nadia Tamu have been separated now for 19 months and were shocked by the decision to allow Katie Hopkins into Australia. And to get rejected over and over again, it's just um, heartless. Nadia is an Indonesian citizen and has been granted a marriage visa in Australia. But when she applied for a travel exemption to join Mick, she was repeatedly refused. 
we, we made the decision to get married, put the visa application again in accordance with all the government requirements. So we stuck to the rules the whole time and we feel the government has not. It'd be nice to know how many people have actually got through the system like that who are not Australians, whereas people, Australians can't get home. Mick and his partner Nadia face an uncertain future. I can't understand how they can be so heartless and not give any information or any indication at all when things will change. Hi, I'm Lee Sales. Thanks for watching this story. If you'd like to watch more of 730's stories, they are on the left of your screen. And tap on the button below to subscribe and get the latest from ABC News.